everybody, how's it going? I just wanna do a quick little video on these fender locks that I picked up. I've had three different ones. Uh, I returned two of them. Actually, I returned one of them because one of them I tried to paint. Paint didn't stick because they were plastic and, uh, but they were only $5.99 for four. I'll show pictures of the ones that I ordered that didn't really uh, work for what I wanted them to. What I am going to go with is this one right here. Now, here's what they look like. It's back side, front side. They don't come with the screw, the screws. They cost about sixteen to seventeen dollars for two, and I needed four. And how they work is, this attaches to your uh, your bumper permanently. Uh, wherever you want it and this mounts on the boat normally you would put this on the the gunnel but i it's not wide enough and the screws might end up on the outside of the boat i'm not going to do that i'm going to mount them to the deck and i'll show you how that goes uh, after i do it but they slide in there and then they slide and they lock um i've seen this black piece of rubber uh, you know, in the picture when I ordered these from Amazon, I didn't know what it was. Uh, but now that I have them, it's uh, really obvious what that's for. On the back side, when this slides through there, it just gives it a little friction to kind of lock it in. Because um, really, this boat's kind of rounded. And I wasn't really sure if I need to use bumpers. Uh, where am I going to put them? How am I going to attach them? I'd like to use them. Uh, you know, I know I can use... Uh, a pool noodle I still might because uh, the the boats pretty curved but I think where I put these it's gonna work out well um, because you have to buy four of these two for each side you also get four of these but you really only need two bumpers because you're only gonna put them on one side at a you know at a time so you could have two different levels you could put these on for a uh, you know, a high pier at one spot, a low pier at another spot. But I also ordered some fenders that are supposed to be here tomorrow that are square and they're jointed and they bend. So they should cover me from, you know, top to bottom with one spot. So I'll have to see how those go tomorrow. I'll put a, you know, quick video up on that as well. Uh, but let me get these mounted and uh, let's take a look and see how they work. As you can see, I put each one of these in at a slight angle because the screws sit better in the little indentation. Um, if you go in at a slight angle. So when this would attach to the bumper, you just put it in here, slide it there, good to go. Pretty low profile. These things are pretty small, how big this is. It's not very big. So, Really, when these are attached to the rope and put away, these are pretty, you know, small and not very noticeable. Uh, I might get some different screws that sit in there better. These screw heads are kind of big. I'm not liking that. So I'll probably change that out. Not a big deal. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to have a different bumper uh, that I ordered. These are some that I have that I'm, you know, probably not going to use. But, the, you know, the idea behind it is you put these on there, you can tie it on, you can put a knot, whatever you want to do. And then if you want to put the bumper on, you just stick it in here, slide it down, and then your bumper goes over the side. Um, the ones I'm going to have are going to be padding that starts right here. 
it has a break in it and it will hang all the way down to two feet long. Um, otherwise, with this kind, there's nothing that can protect this rail. Um, this is pretty hard, would be pretty hard to hold up there like this. So that's why I ordered the other kind. All right, all four are done. Uh, there's one there. And as we go up to the front, um, there's one right here. And then across the way, put one right here, which the other side will have also a, a rod holder installed. Um, and then another one back here. I ended up going with this one up a little higher, uh, opposed to right here, um, just because this seemed like a good spot for it. I would have went right here, but with all the wires and cables going through there, I did not want to drill through that or put a screw in there. Um, so there they are. There's the four things again. Um, tomorrow, if them bumpers come in, I'll uh, put a quick one-minute video up of uh, how they look. And, you know, these all work pretty good. But, uh, feel free to comment whatever you're using. I'm very curious what everybody's using. Um, these boats are rounded, so the cleats that come, one on the back and one way up on the front. If you hung a bumper off that, I don't think you're going to, you know, be in contact with uh, the pier. So I wanted to get something a little inward, uh, you know, where they would actually work. So th thanks again for watching. Um, and I will see you guys next time.